This is the New Recover Tropic. And this is the sauna box. And in this video, I'm gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison between the New Recover and the sauna box and let you guys know which one is the better buy because there is definitely a clear winner. All right, ever since doing my sauna box review video, I've had a lot of people reaching out to me because uh, they've also seen the New Recover Tropic sauna out there. And people have been asking me, you know, is there one that's a little bit better than the other? And so I thought I would do, just go ahead and put together a video and show you guys the differences between these two saunas. Uh, because like I just said, there is clearly a difference between the two and one is definitely worth your money over the other. So I'm going to go over, show you guys the specs, uh, show you a few of the things that I think in my opinion um, make one better than the other. And so let's go ahead and get into it. The new Recover Tropic, it retails for $329. And with that, it comes with the Tropic itself, a folding seat, the steam device, the pole split it all together, a cleaning mat, an absorbent mat, and also a one year warranty. The sauna box, on the other hand, it retails for $349. It includes the steam unit, a portable chair, fiberglass frame, heat insulated thermo shield frame cover, the sweat lock floor mat, a microfiber towel, a carrying case, and it includes a two year warranty. So let's go ahead and talk about the quality. Now you might assume that the quality on both of these units is about the same because you're probably thinking they come off the same assembly line somewhere in China. And also you've probably seen other steam sauna tents out there, maybe a little bit cheaper, and you're thinking that they're all the same. Well, I gotta tell you that there's actually a lot of differences between these two. So let me go ahead and show you those differences. So from the outside, if you look at both of these, they look about the same. The material looks about the same. It's made of this like polyester material, which is about the same as this one. And so again, I could see why you would look at both of these on paper and assume that they're both the same quality. However, let's take a closer look. Now, the biggest thing that you'll notice if you take a look at the materials, the insulation in between these two layers here, on the new Recover, it's very, very thin. I mean, almost as though there's nothing in between them. And if you come over here to the sauna box, there's actually a good amount of material in between there. Like the batting that they have in here is, this is way thicker than the, the new Recover. And we'll talk about this a little bit later in the video and I'll show you the differences as far as the insulation overall, but this makes a huge difference. So when you're trying to get a sauna that is very, very hot and you're trying to achieve that 130 degree temperature that they advertise, I'll tell you what, the, the new Recover, and this is a spoiler, it doesn't even come close. And so that's the biggest thing that you'll notice right away is that this is just paper thin, very, very thin right here. It is about the same material overall as the sauna box, but very thin. Now, the second thing I wanna point out is the frame of both of these saunas. If you look at the new Recover, all the poles are actually made of just like a PVC plastic. And if you look at it, it has the upright poles right here, and of course it goes across there, but there's no supporting poles that go here in the middle. And so overall, if it's windy or anything, this just kind of flaps around. Now, conversely, if you look at the sauna box, these poles are made of fiberglass and it has full supports in the middle and up top, and it just doesn't bow out quite as much as the other one. Construction wise, sauna box is way better put together. And I'd like to point out the difference. As I mentioned, the Tropic from New Recover, it just uses these PVC, very thin little pipes, little poles, and these are very flexible. They're hollow, they're flexible, and on the, other hand, the sauna box, it uses these fiberglass and forest poles, and these are really sturdy. I mean, yeah, they're hollowed out as well, but incredibly sturdy. There's a huge difference. And what I've seen already, and you can't really see it here, but some of the ones with the new recover are already starting to bend a little bit with the heat. And so that's probably just gonna keep getting worse as I use this more and more. So both these units, they do come with similar accessories. For instance, the new recover comes with a sweat mat, and if you look at it, it's actually really small. It doesn't really cover the floor all that much at all. So when we're talking about trapping sweat and water, things like that, uh, to absorb it, that's not gonna do much. So with the new recovery, you're gonna have to throw down another towel in order to sop up some of that, which is kind of gross, but hey, uh, that's important. Because if you compare that to the sauna box, this mat down here takes up the entire floor from corner to corner, very well thought out. And of course it's a monogram with their logo. This is very high quality, much higher quality than the other. The other is just some sort of kind of microfiber. I'm not sure what this is made of, but very, very absorbent and it's very thick. So huge difference there. 
And I think you're really gonna like this one because it's kind of comical. This is the differences in the chairs that they give you. Now this is the sauna box right here. It's not a full size chair per se. Uh, it's definitely a little small. <laughs> this is the one from New Recover. And this is made for a toddler. And this thing is tiny. So let's take a look at the chair. So sauna box, it's a small chair. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, I fit comfortably enough. I can sit in this for 20 minutes, no problem. But a little short, a little small. And this is the new recover. This thing is so tiny. It's made for a little baby. Um, I don't know why they would include this one. It's just, it's horrible. And uh, I don't think a whole lot of thought went into this one. It's just so small. Uh, you're definitely gonna invest in some other chair. Now these are the included steam units of both units. We have the sauna box over here on the left, and this is the new recover over here. Look very, very similar. Uh, I believe they heat up to about the same amount. Uh, the new recover on this one, it has up to a level nine. This goes to a level seven. But honestly, I don't really notice any difference. They both seem to function about the same. All right, so I really wanna point out one really big red flag, and that involves the new recover. As we've seen so far, it seems like they've cut some corners. And if you look in the specifications on their website, uh, they've definitely cut some corners because they describe the size of the new recover Tropic as being uh, the height as six foot one, depth 40.5 inches, by 48 inches. And then on the sauna box, it's advertised as being for six foot two by 35 by 35. Now, based on what I just said, and as you can obviously see, if this is for six two right here, and this is for six one, I mean, look at the difference between the two. Uh, I actually got out the measuring tape and this actually measures about 510 and that's how tall I am. So when I get in here, my head is actually touching uh, the little roof right here. And in the sauna box, I have plenty of room. I can hop in and I still have at least a good four inches above my head. So a lot more room, plus the uh, length and width of this. Uh, the footprint on both of these is identical. It's about 35 inches uh, going back and from side to side. You know, they advertise as making it seem like this is a lot bigger than it is, a lot wider than this. And um, it's just a flat out lie. This is the same exact footprint as this one but clearly much, much shorter than the other. All right, so now I'm gonna answer the most important question that you probably have a, as a consumer, and that is which one of these units gets hotter than the other? Because I can tell you, they both generate steam, you, you get sweaty in both of them, they both work, uh, but there is one that works much better than the other. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn on the steam units, and I'm gonna check the temperature at three different times, let it run for a while, and let's see which one is gonna get hotter and sustain those temperatures for longer because it's a huge difference and you gotta see this. So I'm gonna let the steamer go ahead and run for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll try to get it to max temperature, we'll measure that. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and fire it up on the sauna box afterwards and check that. So it's been going for about six minutes now. I still don't see any steam in the new recover. So let's check back here in a second and we'll check the temperature. Okay, so the new recover has been heating up for about 16 minutes now and we're gonna go ahead and see what the temperature is at this point. It's reading about 101 right now. Let's give it a few more minutes and see what it heats up to. Okay, now it's been about 23 minutes since we started the steamer here. Let's see, do a second check. All right, reading about 104 right now. Let's wait another five minutes and see what it does. All right, now this is the third and final time checking on the new recover. It's been about 28 minutes. So let's see what the temperature is now. Oh, wow. Got our 104 initially, but then 103. 104 if I point there in the corner. All right, so it hasn't changed that much, about 104. Okay, I wanna make this as objective as possible. It's at 29 minutes, just like on the other one, All right, which is about uh, 16 minutes overall since it's been on. So let's go ahead and check the temperature on the sauna box. All right, first check. Look at that, 112, 113. 
about 114, 114. Big difference. Okay, now it's been about 23 minutes. This is the second check on the sauna box. All right, second check. 120. 121. Yeah, it's about 120. Wow, big difference between the two. All right, so this is the third and final check on the sauna box. All right, let's see if five more minutes made any difference. 122, I said 123 there a second ago. There we go. It's 123. What? Can you believe the differences between the two? I mean, the sauna box gets so much hotter than the newer cover, and it's not even close. And that really, that boils down to that insulation. I mean, this is just paper thin. The wall here, the sauna box, the insulation is just a lot better. And in fact, everything about the sauna box, from the packaging to the materials to the build quality, everything is just better with the sauna box. As I mentioned, it's $349. You can get a 10% off discount code uh, listed below. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you clicked on that as an affiliate link, but it does support the channel with no extra cost to you. Now you can get the uh, Tropic a little bit cheaper. And of course, I think they include a, an extra portable little ice bath that comes with it. So you might think that it's a great deal. And I'm gonna leave that up to you. Uh, but just from the quality perspective and which one functions better, the sauna box has a beat big time. Okay, so keep that in mind. I wouldn't say that the new recover is necessarily a bad uh, thing to have. If you had nothing to compare it to, there's plenty of reviews and customers out there that say that they love the new recover, it works great. And it does, it gets hot, uh, not as hot. Uh, and you will sweat and things like that. But just it, once you go hands-on and you compare these two side by side, I mean, anybody can see that the sauna box has a beat big time. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about uh, either one of these units, please leave a comment below. I really appreciate that you guys are watching this. Uh, like and subscribe. It does help the channel a lot. I want to grow it as much as I can, provide as much content to you guys. Uh, I will see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day.